Okay, I am doing this um, from a current student's assignment uh, because I see this an awful lot. So this is going to be the new video for P14-1 to show you how to correctly do this. When it's uh, asking for you to put a U7H6 fit to the shaft and hole of an object, this is not what it's asking you to do. Okay? And this right here needs to be fixed. And we can fix this. Let's see. What do we have this in? Okay. Ah, well, that's the problem. It's standard. Ah, okay. You didn't make a uh, metric one. So, we're going to go in here. Let's just make an annotative one for the metric. So, yeah, you're going to want to eventually do this part anyway. And that's going to be three. And the brake size is going to be two. Leader structure is good. That's going to be five. And text is going to be three. Okay, so now we go OK and close. And now we can hit that and say that's what it's going to be. Now our our arrowhead shows up correctly. So, how do we fix this? Well, I don't want to double click that, but we click that and then we go to properties. Okay? And then we scroll all the way down and we're going to tell uh, it's going to have a tolerance display of limits. All right? And it's going to be three decimals. So next, we're going to go into the back of the book and find the H7G6 fits. Okay? So your tolerance lower level number, the lower level is going to be 19.980. So what we do is we have to tell it how much to remove from there. It's because it's already set at 20. It needs to be 19.980. So we're going to go 0 0.02 and enter. So now we have the 19.980. So now for the upper, it's going to be 19.993. So in this case, when it's the upper limit, usually it's going to be over the 20, okay? But sometimes it's going to be below still. So this has to be a negative number. So now it's going to be a minus point zero zero seven well I'm supposed to minus point zero zero seven there we go and now it says nineteen point nine nine three now these numbers are in the back of the book um, on it's it's in chart a dash not our sheet I'm sorry page a dash nine in the appendix okay so now we don't need this H7G6, okay? Now, next thing we need to do is add this and do the same with this, okay? So properties, scroll down. Tolerance display, limits, three decimal points, the lower tolerance limit, 
is zero. We're just it's going to be twenty. Twenty point zero zero zero. For the upper tolerance limit, it's going to be twenty point zero two one. So we add point zero two one. And there it is. Okay. That's how we do that. So next we're going to do this one. I'm going to take the U7H6. That's found on A12. Make sure you look at the right one, the correct one. Okay. And now we're going to go, well, stuck in that text edit mode. So now we're going to go to limits, tolerance limit lower, lower limit is 9.991, so that's going to be 0 0.009. And, oh, we're still in the uh, three decimals. There we go. And in the upper limit is 10. There's no, nothing else. So that's, that one's easy. Okay. So that one's done. We can, rem we can actually move this up. Okay. Like that. And now we're going to do this one right here. So we go down, tolerance display, limits, three decimals, lower limit. Uh, this one's I got to do some math on it because it's uh, the lower limit is 9.963 and the upper limit is 9.978. So, lower limit is going to be, let's see, 0.63, so that's going to be 0 0.037, yeah, why do I dot myself, <laughs> sorry, okay, and the uh, upper limit, is 9.978 so that's going to be 0.022 so that's going to be a negative 0 0.022 as I try to punch that in there and yeah so now I go over here and there we go these are now correct now my student that drew this up, he didn't draw a little box here on the side. Um, and there's, a, uh, there's even a mistake on that because that drawing does not show the uh, hidden lines for the through holes that represent this and this. So, also, this should not be like that. Uh, this should... Actually, let me go into this center line and what it should be is that right there and that right there and let's see, let me click both of those, quick properties, make those both three. And then LTS, and we're going to make that 13. 13 looks good. It shows up at least. Okay. And we can also extend these guys a little bit. Let's see. And there we go. Okay. So, yeah, I would expect you to draw this. Um, 
shoot, I'm drawing it, might as well. So it's uh, 40 by 40. Just so I've got a center mark there. Circle. Well, I don't want center radius, I want center diameter. So first one we're gonna show will be I'll show the one, the small one. It's gonna be a ten. And Eight. Oh. Thought I'd hit enter. My bad. Try this again. There we go. And then we've got a twenty. And eighteen, and There we go. That's how it's shown in the book. Let me uh, change the LTS here, make sure that's visible. Why aren't those showing up as hidden? Okay. Let's take a look here. Yeah, it says they're hidden. Alrighty, let's do this. That's why. Okay, so now they show up as hidden lines. Okay? So, that's that's how you would want to do this, okay? If you if you were to hand somebody a machinist, you know, something with the uh, you know, U7H6 on there, they would laugh at you. Because their job is not to find out what that stuff is. Their job is to build whatever it is you hand them. Okay? You're supposed to have all the information out there for them. So, for goodness sakes, do not... Do not leave that on there like that. Okay? So, thanks again. Uh, some of you guys may have uh, said, Wow, that's a really big sheet. Well, this is a B-size sheet. Um... I'm going to start making my students make this. Uh, Mr. Doty makes you uh, do this for CAD 112, and uh, I think it's a great idea. It beats having things all crammed together on an A-size sheet. So, there you have it. Let me know if you have any questions, and uh, good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.